Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is another episode of the world famous The Universe The best podcast at one, two, three galaxies But you and I, ladies and gentlemen, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves And we're coming to you live today uh, Today is May the something, 25th, 26th, May 25th probably 2021, 2022 at the time of this recording. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we have a good show. Today, I have a subject that I that I broach a uh, hundred a hundred thousand times in my life, and it is uh it is a uh, a funny Sam that I learned as a kid from the great from the great Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, all as I can stand, and I can't stand no more. Sometimes in life, we get to a point where we just hit the wall. We just over and over again, and it's like I gotta change. I gotta do something different. I gotta get it going. It all goes together. And ladies and gentlemen, when you hit that point, you know what to do. Get started. Jump jump take the leap take the leap when you get to a point where you just are going through the motions when it comes to anything i mean anything ladies and gentlemen relationships jobs does not matter does not matter and i will and i will give you i will give you a prime example I remember once I was dating a girl when I first moved to Atlanta, long before I met my beautiful, lovely wife, the mother of my children, long before I met her, okay? And uh, and uh, I went out with this girl, you know, and uh, we was okay. We had an okay relationship, you know? Because at first, let's, let's, let's all be honest with each other. At first, when you're dating somebody, it's like, it... it I mean, the first couple of months you date somebody, everybody's great. You know what I mean? Because everybody presents a different person to, to 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 all of us. You know, even even you and I put on a put on a different you know front sometimes. You know, but anyway, it does not matter. But me and this girl, man, we got to a point where you know we barely talked on the phone. Uh, she would come by maybe once every blue moon, and it just got to be like you know no communication. I remember one time I called up and I was like. Hey, I got time, you know, to come over for lunch, you know, and she's like, I'll make you lunch, and, you know, she made me lunch, and she didn't say anything, I didn't say anything, I ate the food, I said, all right, I'll see you later, she said, okay, <laughs> and I knew at that point, ladies and gentlemen, I knew it was over with, you know what I mean, and, uh, I don't think I saw her for another month, and then she came over crying, you know, fake fake tears, you know, oh, we got a breakup, you know, blah, blah, blah. yeah, it all worked out, but it don't matter, but, uh, the point of that story is, it, it, it was a breaking point, you know, it was like, you know, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know, I mean, honestly, I wasn't going to call her back, you know, if she didn't call me, but I was just like, you know, this relationship is kind of over with, you know, and, you know, when, once I, once I left her house, you know, I was like, oh, it's, it's over with, you know. It was it was the breaking point, and it and it comes it comes down to that. I remember when I was in the navy. There's a certain point. Well, I thought about staying in for twenty years, you know. And then I remember I was talking to this guy. I was I was out doing I was out doing duty, and I was out standing watch. This guy he walked by, and he was all sad, and he was all depressed, you know. And he was, you know, oh man, you. Know, and I was like, man, what's wrong, man? You know what's going on with you, man? He was like, man, wife divorced me, man. She's going to get half my money. I've been in the military 21 years, man. And she just divorced me. And, man, she's going to get half my pension. He's like, you believe that? And I was like, they can do that? He's like, yeah, man, if you live in California, if you get married in California, and you stay married for after 10 years, they can get half of what you got, man. So be careful. And then, you know, that was one thing. But then... Uh, something else happened. I forgot, and uh, not I know what happened. Uh, I was talking to this other guy, and he was like, "I've been on boats for twenty years, and I like twenty years on boats." 
He's like, yeah, man. He said, it's fun. You build up to the West Pack. West Pack is where you go around the world for six months. Go around, you know, go around. You go to like Hawaii, from Hawaii to the Middle East, you know, basically. You go like Hawaii, Australia, Thailand, stuff like that. And uh, he was like, yeah, man, you build up to that West Pack. And I remember we was going, we, it was one time we were out for two weeks. We're not, we went out to sea for two weeks. And I asked him, I said, why are we going out to sea? And they was like, uh, we don't know. And then at that point, it was my, it was my breaking point. I said, nah, I'm not going to be doing this for 20 years. I said, I'll pass. And uh, I got out after four years. You know what I mean? And... It, it happens that way sometimes, and you know, I know these last few months have been for me a real pain because it's always something, you know, trying to do the podcast and a bunch of other things. But like I said, you know, there's no no excuse, no story. But um, as far as the job, you know, because you know, I try to be, I try to be nice to my wife, you know, try to be you know nice to her, and I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll keep working a job, you know, and I'll you know do my podcast and then my copywriting, you know, and I'll, you know, do both, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I'm at the point now where, you know, all I can stand is and I can't stand no more. And, uh, you know, I told my wife tonight, I said, listen, I'm, I, I, I said, I don't care if I got to get three jobs, but I'm done with, I'm done, I'm done with the truck drive. You know what I mean? I said, I'm done with it. I said, if I got to you know, supplementing my income for a little while, driving a cab or driving Lyft, driving Uber, DoorDash, don't matter to me. But I got to do something because, you know, I mean, it's just like, if you think about it, we we all have dreams, you know, we all have a dream, we dream about something, you know, and, you know, some people don't do anything about their dreams, but you and I, you know, because you, if you listen to this podcast, you definitely have dreams, you know. If you listen to this podcast, you're about action. You want to conquer your goals. You want to become an entrepreneur, you know. There's no reason for you not to listen to this podcast and not want to do something different in your life, you know. Um, this 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 podcast ain't about, you know, hey, man, um, you know, before I remember, before I would think, you know, before I was kind of like, you know, people could work a job and still, you know, but. You know, the more I think about it, you know, honestly, the more I think about it, the more I, you know, ponder and reflect on my life and reflect on things, you know, I'm like, you know, jobs are great and you learn a lot and you learn a lot of different things from working for people and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, you know, I'm not saying, hey, man, you know, F jobs, you know, it's not about that, but some of us, you and I, we are the type of people who want to work for ourselves, you know. I want to work, you know. I'm go- I'm cause because me. And this is just me personally. All the times I've done things, you know, business wise, you know, you know, start start little businesses here and there, you know, make a few bucks. I work harder doing those businesses than I do the actual, the, you know, the jobs that they they people pay me. You know, it's not nothing bad you know it's just natural because you know when you're out there on the island when you when you when you own a business you know you know it's you and you have to do the work you have to put in the time you have to put in the investment and the sweetest thing you know for for people like you and i this the sweetest thing is when you get when you finally start getting paid and it's like you know like when i i told you when i did the mlm and um i worked hard you know what I mean? Like I was, I used to drive, and then I was, you know, and I would get up two hours early, you know, try to post, try to post ads on Facebook, but you know, post ads on, uh, you know, different sites. You know, I, I was putting in the work, you know. But when I finally got my first, like, you know, I start, I started getting leads, and I remember I finally got my first sale, and I remember they sent me a direct deposit, you know, money. Like that was the best. That was a better feeling than getting paid, you know, fifteen hundred bucks from driving a truck. You know what I mean? Like that little money was like, all right, I know I can do it. And once you make a sale, once you do anything like that, you know, you realize, hey man, I can do this. I can do this full time. You know, and that's the that's that's what you want. You know what I mean? And so, if you get to a point where you're like, hey man, I got I got to, I got to go. You know, you have to 
you have to tell yourself you have to, you, you, you know sometimes uh, my mom used to, my mom has a saying you know she um uh we, sometimes we'll discuss people in our family and she goes she's like hey man throw them out the bag throw, throw them out the window they'll be like a cat they'll land on their feet and i'm like this is true so sometimes you know we have to get away from you know safe, safe we have to get away from being safe you know and sometimes you have to just take a leap you know and uh i mean i'm a true believer in christ you know so i know that god 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 got me you know what i'm saying don't, don't matter you know um and if you it's because because it's not about being the smartest person in the world it's not about being you know it's not about working you know 26 hours a, a day you know what i mean it's about you know you know where you want to go you know you, you have a goal you have a, you have a plan you know it's about driving that bus you know and how fast you're gonna drive that bus you know how you gonna drive how often you're gonna drive that bus you know what are you willing to do to get to the point where you want to get to you know it's um using your time wisely it's about you know formulating plans meeting the right people you know connecting with people you know putting yourself out there you know marketing you know a lot of things about marketing you know it's um uh, my friend called me up one day and he said he was talking about this uh young lady that he was dating or seeing or whatever she had a friend and he's like yeah her friend ain't the best looking i was like but her marketing campaign is pretty good you know a lot of times it boils out to that, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you get to a point where you just like, hey, man, I'm fed up with this situation. Hey, man, sometimes, you know, put all, put all your chips, put all your chips, put all your eggs, put all your cards, however you want to say it, push them all to, push them all in the middle, you know, especially if you, you know, I, I, I don't care how old you are, you know, I say push your chips to the table, you know. I was gonna say, you know, if you're like 21, definitely, I, I would just, you know, push them all to the table, you know. Even if you're older, you know, you ain't got nothing to lose, man. People, are, people act like you can't start over. You can start over at any age, to be honest with you, you know. But if it's something you want, you want, you man, go for it. And if it's something you really want, and something you bound and determined to get, ain't nothing gonna stop you. It might take time. It might take four or five years, you know. You know, everybody can't be a YouTube star in two two minutes. It might take you four years to start making money, but what if you take four years out of your life and start doing videos, and by you know year number six you you're making twenty thousand dollars a month. You know, like it'll be worth it. You know, like everything you do now, everything you do is is with a purpose. Everything you do, it everything you do. You know. I bought a, I'll tell you like this, I bought a microphone 10 years ago, you know, I use, I, and I didn't start using my microphone until seven years after I bought the microphone, you know, and it's, 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 it's paying off, you know, have a podcast, done 500 and some episodes, you know, you know, doesn't matter, up, down, up, down, struggle, struggle, you know, you know, last nine months been a little, been a little rocky, don't matter, we out here, you know. It, it, it's still going strong, you know what I mean? And so I want the same for you. So don't let nothing stop you. All I can stand is I can't stand no more. If you at that point, shh, hey man, go for it. You know, run, run, run as fast as you can and go get what you want. All right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, that is it for the podcast. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzato. Thank you for listening. And as always,